If you're tuning in to your first episode, hi! This podcast is called Have I Got a Story for You? And it's produced by PJ Library, a program of the Harold Grinspoon Foundation. PJ Library sends great, expertly curated books to families raising Jewish children every month for free. And it's not one of those for free but you pay for shipping things. It's just completely free. Sign up at pjlibrary.org. Anyway, we just wrapped our first season of stories. You can find all of the previous episodes at gotastorypodcast.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. <laughs> Gesundheit! Thanks, Rita. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, that's okay. I was just about done. Let's see. I, I said, um, I just need to find my place. Season one just wrapped. We're so excited. PJ Library sends free books. So that brings us to... Aha! Uh-huh, right now. Our season ended with a story about a man named Isaac. Hello! And a very important lesson he learned with the help of his friend Ruthie, his chef, chef, and an important missing ingredient. Spoiler alert, the missing ingredient is friendship and community and being good to other people. And a little bit of fresh parsley doesn't hurt either. (laughs) If you haven't heard it yet, you should go back and give it a listen. Go ahead, pause this, go listen, and then come back and hit play. Oh, and listen with friends. Much like enjoying a Shabbat dinner, podcast episodes are also better when enjoyed with friends. So, as you can hear, we have Chef and Isaac in the studio with us today. Since we recorded their story so long ago... Almost 52 weeks ago. We wanted to check in and see how everything is going. Most importantly, we wanted to see if Isaac was still hosting Shabbat dinners or if he'd gone back to his old ways. Chef... Do you want to answer that? He's unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just messing with you. Oh, Rita, you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I love this guy. Such a joker. We laugh every day. And we still cook together all the time. Things have been going really well. Ruthie really made an impact. Speaking of, where is Ruthie today? Oh, she's on a snowboarding safari adventure. I have no idea what that is, but she said she'd always wanted to try it, so it was our combined holiday gift for Ruthie. The whole neighborhood chipped in. We FaceTimed last night. She's having the time of her life. And, of course, making new friends along the way. You know, Ruthie. (laughs) That's amazing. Well, we'll probably have to schedule a follow-up with Ruthie sometime soon to find out all about this snowboard safari. Oh, we're going to have a surprise welcome back party for her on New Year's Eve. You should come. Chef and I will be making Ruthie's favorite, lentil soup. And we'll have an ice cream sundae bar, too. Oh, that sounds great. I am so in. Isaac, you know, a year ago, I would not have guessed you would be the type to host surprise parties or, I mean, if I'm being really honest, have friends? Well, I I still like to be alone once in a while, but there's a difference between being alone to recharge or enjoy quiet and a good book and choosing to isolate from people and community. I, I mean, at this time last year, Chef lived in my house and I barely spoke to him. You didn't even know my name. True. Uh, To be fair, you also introduce yourself to everyone as Chef Chef. (laughs) What Um, is your name? Go ahead, Isaac. (laughs) Rita, meet Gordon. (laughs) Oh, well, pleasure to make your acquaintance, Gordon. You can still call me Chef. (laughs) So, Isaac, it sounds like you're a real mensch now. (laughs) Gesundheit. No, no, mensch, you know... Mensch like a nice guy, a good person. Isaac totally gets loving his neighbor as himself. Yeah, to be honest, I I wish I'd knocked on Ruthie's door sooner. But it has been great to reconnect. And she really did help me understand that the missing ingredient was community. I hope that doesn't sound too cheesy. But I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Sounds pretty Gouda to me. (laughs) That's a cheesy joke. (laughs) Still got it, Chef. But seriously, Isaac, this is all wonderful to hear. 
You know, there's a really important Jewish leader and thinker, Lord Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, who once said, Community is the place where we know we're not alone. For some people, community is their synagogue or religious school. And for some, it's a snowboarding safari or... Or an easygoing Shabbat night in with friends. Wow. Wow, indeed. (sighs) You know, it's been wonderful catching up with both of you. Oh, and before you go, PJ Library sent over a couple of Hanukkah gifts for you. Hey, they're aprons. Wow, we can wear these when we make our Friday night fried rice. Oh, and our bimuelos. Oh, for people listening, PJ Library has a great recipe for those. Yeah. There's an apron for Ruthie, too. Oh, bring it in, everybody. Yeah. Ah, okay. Good pug. Yeah. Well, friends, we've had a great first season, and we want to thank everyone for listening in, sharing your own stories with us, and rating and subscribing. We're going to finish up today with a few more stories from PJ Library subscribers and listeners like you. If you'd like to share your own, or tell us about what you made wearing your special PJ Library apron, you can email or send us a voicemail. You'll find instructions on our website, gotastorypodcast.com. One time when my mom took me to an amusement park, I found a $50 bill and we were able to get some other people into the park. All right. This one time I helped my friend with this fake wrestling event and they were performing this shark mix and I had a huge stuffed shark and I threw it at them and then they fought it. They won. Once when I went to... um... Dairy Queen, and I was in Maine visiting some friends. I found a $20 bill in the little slot where you put your money, like you get the change, um, on an out-of-order gumball machine. I put the $20 in my pocket, and I bought a book with it.